Colossians 3 2 says, Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. And that's the U version verse for whatever day this is. <laughs> I've lost track of my days. But I got home from work and it's like midnight. And so I saw that verse and it immediately struck with me. Because for me, um, as a Christian, I should be thinking about the things of heaven, but I end up always getting really obsessed with the things of earth. And, you know, if you've been paying attention, or yeah, if you've been paying attention to any of my previous videos where I talk about work and just struggling with what I want to do then that's kind of why this first kind of struck with me I just kind of want to talk about that for a second and just thinking about things of heaven not just day-to-day -day life or worrying about day-to-day -day life because I know for me like I can get caught up in sometimes the good things in life sometimes I get very distracted in how good I have it or I want this or that or Sometimes I get caught up in the bad, the corruption, the evil, getting to people talking bad about me, having rude customers come up to me day after day after day. <laughs> but we're only on this earth for a limited time. And I tend to focus on the material way more than I should, especially as a Christian. I know there's a bigger picture than what I see. There's a lot more to this life than what I see. And yet I get caught up in the day-to-day -day routine because if I'm not spending time in my Bible or I'm not praying or I'm not really doing godly things, I'm getting caught up with the things of this world, then I'm taking my eyes off Jesus and then I go into a very bad rut. And needless to say, I probably am in a rut. Do I need to be leaning over like this? Anyway, <laughs> point is... uh. It struck a chord with me because I need to, that needs to be my mentality. And that's what I tell other people all the time, which is, there's more to this life. When you're going through a bad time, like, you don't have to just sit here and say, oh, whatever. But it's a good thing to keep in perspective is that we are on this earth for a short period of time. So if you are in a bad season, it's a short period of time. And, but what do you do with that time? What do you do with that short period of time? What you do when you're going through the trials or when you are going through the bad times and it doesn't feel like it's ever going to end. And for me, as I've been thinking about everything going on in my life and what I would talk to somebody else going through my situation, and that's how I tend to work situations out is I would, I don't know, how <laughs> it's like 1.30 in the morning, I'm trying to word this out clearly. But if I, the way I kind of work things out is obviously Bible and prayer. But also, I kind of like imagine somebody else in my exact same situation, what I would tell them. And what I would tell them is, it's temporary. And keep your eyes on God. And it's going to work out. He'll eventually, if you need a new job, he'll give you a new job. If you need a new situation, if you need to grow, he'll do those things. If you're not sure what you want to do, he'll reveal what you need to do looking for your purpose he'll show you your purpose when it's time to show you your purpose but the main thing is draw close to him you know keep reading keep praying don't just get distracted by the day-to-day -day things don't just get distracted by the good things don't get distracted by the bad things keep your eyes on the things you can't see keep your eyes on christ keep your eyes on the kingdom of heaven because we don't see those things but one day we will and we're going to have to give a record of everything we've done on this earth. And so do you really want to, you know, if Jesus came back today, do I really want to be sitting here in this hat looking dead tired? Because holy cow, I look tired right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost 1.40 in the morning. I need to go to bed. But do I want Jesus to come back and the thing I'm doing is complaining about my situation or do I or do I want to live a life that gives glory to God? And sometimes, well not sometimes, all the time, when I'm more focused on the things of this world, I'm not thinking, I'm not giving glory to God. Because I'm just trying to figure out how I can put myself in a better situation. When really, I should be looking at the situation I'm in and think, okay, how can I, what is it that God wants me to do? How can I glorify God in this situation? And especially the last two days of work have been really difficult, and I have not really been giving much glory to God. <laughs> I'll be honest. 
I should, I need to do a lot better. And that's just me being honest. But I just want to think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. I want to live a godly life. I want people, when they look at me, think, oh, yeah, no. He didn't just say he was a Christian. He actually meant it. And then for anybody else kind of going through a similar situation, if you're kind of in a rut and you just don't really know what to do, turn your eyes to God. And that's what my challenge is for me. And that's what my challenge is for you. Don't worry about this temporary stuff. If you're in a bad job, that's temporary. Because, again, heaven's for eternal. And this is temporary no matter how you split it. But, <laughs> but just remember, there's a bigger purpose. Your life has a bigger purpose than just one moment. One moment that you're struggling in. And... When you're going through those moments where you're frustrated, where you're either very blessed or you're really happy, and that's a great thing, or you're struggling and you just are hoping to get through it, just remember that in the good moments, it's there to glorify God. And in the bad moments, it's there to glorify God. But the main thing is, in any situation, whether the good or the bad, keep your eyes on God. And that's something that I need to remind myself. And if anybody out there needs that reminder, then, you know, Colossians 3.2 is there for you, for any situation. Keep your eyes on the things of heaven. And that's how I want to live my life. And it's just to glorify God. And I want to take the steps to do that and not just say that. So I just want to say that. Anyway, hope you guys have a good night or a good day. And I'll